Hello everyone, welcome to this video on FITS, okay? So FITS is this acronym that I developed, this framework I developed around a particular way to prompt things. Now this isn't anything new necessarily. I've talked about something similar to this in past videos and I've heard other people talk about it uh, in as many words. But in this case, I kind of took the framework, systematized it a little bit, really refined it, and gave it a name, FITS, uh, which, uh, you know, it took me a while to actually get the right words that uh, fit the <laughs> acronym, pun 100% intended. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about what this is. So FITS stands for Framework, Identity, Task, and style. This is what I believe is the core four items in most prompting that you will do in ChatGPT, in Claude, or wherever you're doing your prompting. And these are the things that I believe are necessary for a really quality output. And we'll, I'll just go ahead and walk through them one by one in ChatGPT so you can see them in action. So the F in FITS stands for framework. Uh, and so we're gonna be taking a look at a different framework here today. A framework is basically, it's the thing that you want the AI to model. AI is good at doing a lot of things, but in other cases, it really needs a lot of instruction. And in this channel especially, and in all of the future projects that I'm planning, like the book I'm planning on writing, it's gonna focus extremely hard on this idea of frameworks because the better your frameworks, the better the output. And uh, there are models that people have identified with things like best-selling fiction. Uh, and the easy example is something like the hero's journey or any outlining template. That's a framework, right? Uh, but there are other frameworks as well. Tropes, different things that people identify in best-selling fiction uh, as well as the framework of a scene even. There's a whole lot of different things you can take this. And so I'm just gonna use an example. I didn't wanna use an outline template because I figured that was you know, too obvious. And so here's the template I'm gonna be putting in here. This is a basic character profile sheet. All right, this is a template. And so we're gonna to add to this prompt. I'm gonna add above it, I'm gonna say, um, we're going to be developing a character profile today using the following template. All right, just a little introduction. And then we're gonna scroll down to the bottom of this and say, and move on to the next step, which is I for identity. Uh, you could also call this persona or role, whatever you wanna, uh, put there, uh, but the identity is basically what is the role that you want the AI to take. And in this case, I'm going to you add this prompt here. You are an AI program, hang on, this I needed to change. You are a best-selling author. You have achieved global recognition for your exceptional storytelling and captivating no novels. You are known for your ability to evoke deep emotions, create rich and relatable characters, and craft intricate plots that keep readers hooked until the very last page. Respond with red to indicate you understand. All right, so this will be the end of this first prompt that we have now given it the framework and the uh, role. I add that last bit to say respond with red to indicate you understand so that it doesn't ramble on and on and on in the next response. I don't want it to actually start creating the profile yet. Um, I want it to just indicate that it understood me. And that also helps to cut back on the number of tokens used so that its memory can last a little longer. So let's go ahead and see what it gives us. Yep, so it did end up, end up writing a little bit more. Uh, but now it has a framework, which is gonna be the most important part to creating the good output. The role also helps as well. This person, you know, it might not be the best output ever, but it is gonna be slightly better because we asked it to be a, an act as a best-selling author. Um, you can notice a difference with that. And so now we're gonna to move to the next part, which is task. Your task 
is to create a stunning character profile for the protagonist of a religiously themed thriller. So we're going to, that's the genre I decided to pick today, something uh, a la Dan Brown. Uh, And now we add the style. Style is usually the thing I put last. Now with a character profile, there isn't necessarily anything that we need to be particularly stylized. If we were writing prose, we would uh, focus more on the style. So style is one of those things that you're only going to need it in certain situations, uh, particularly when you are writing prose. So this could this acronym this acronym could just read fit um, for most prompts, um, but you can also add style, and style is really helpful. Just for the sake of laughs and giggles, we're going to say do this in the style of. Well, since we're doing a religiously themed thriller, let's just say Dan Brown. I don't know if that will change the output that much, uh, but we can put it in in that sense and see if it makes a difference. And so now we've given it the framework, the role, the task, and the style. And again, style is, is not always necessary, but it is definitely when you're doing prose, it's one of the most important things to work on. And so let's go ahead and see what it gives us. All right, we have just received this character profile sheet. And you, as you can tell, it followed the framework perfectly. Um, and that is what we wanted. It isn't giving us too much information because it is kind of a long profile. But if you wanted to expand on any one of these, you could just ask it to do that. We have Professor Elijah Stone. Pretty generic, but okay. Age 47, male, human, 6'2". 185 pounds. Elijah has sharp, inquisitive blue eyes and salt and pepper hair, usually a bit unkempt. He possesses a lean build with signs of athleticism that contrasts with his academic profile. Intellectual, empathetic, d- deeply spiritual, respectful of historical traditions, yet never afraid to challenge established norms when necessary. Birthplace, Boston, Massachusetts. Family, father was a renowned archaeologist, mother was a librarian. Whoa, this is sounding super generic. Uh, No siblings. Uh, Super cliche, I should say. Uh, Grew up surrounded by ancient texts and artifacts, sparking his interest in history and religion. PhD in religious studies from Harvard. Professor of religious studies at Georgetown University. Occasionally consult for the Vatican. Yeah, this sounds exactly like Dan Brown for sure. So you get the the idea, right? You can apply this in any number of ways. Uh, You can use it for fiction. You can use it for nonfiction. Pretty much anything that you're writing, you're going to be using some form or you should be using some form of this now as i said i'm going to be doing a lot of work with different frameworks and trying to provide you with a whole bunch of different frameworks that you can then plug into this formula and get some kind of better result so a lot of my upcoming videos are going to be focusing on that and i uh, hope to see you then